Hi everyone, my name is Daisy and today as a part of the virtual Canada Day celebration, I'm going to teach you how to make a Canada Day noisemaker. The materials you'll need are a red and a black marker, some scissors, two paper plates of any size, tape, hot glue, or stick glue, whatever you prefer. And if you have it, you can use ribbon at one point or I'll show you how to use paper as well. And you'll also need some rice for the noise inside of the plates. And that's it. First, you'll take your red marker and color both of your plates completely. If you'd rather use red paint, you can do that as well. Just make sure you leave time to dry before moving on. Now that your plate is complete, you're gonna take your black Sharpie or marker and you're gonna write Happy Canada Day. We're gonna leave it on the outside of the plate so we can put a Canada flag in the middle. Now you're going to repeat this step on your next plate. So grab your other red colored plate and write Happy Canada Day in the same way you did on the first. Now that you're done with your two paper plates, you can take your scissors and a white piece of paper and you're going to cut two small rectangles out that will be our flags. Now on each of the flags, you're going to draw a Canada flag. So separate it with a black line into three pieces Color the left and the right red. On both of the flags, we're gonna draw maple leaves with a stem, one point to the left, three points to the left, three to the top, three to the right, and then one more to the right. We're also gonna outline the flag in black so it'll stand out on the red plate. Now with your finished flags, you can take them and glue them on the back, and then stick them each onto one of the red plates. Now that your plates are done, we can move those out of the way and grab a white piece of paper or use the same one. You're going to cut a thin strip long ways. And then we're going to cut that piece in half, in half, and in half again. Now I'll repeat this one more time. Now you should have eight pieces of paper. If you're planning on using all paper, make eight more pieces. If you're planning on using ribbon as well as paper, you can take your ribbon and cut it into the same size pieces. We're going to do eight of those. You could also do all 16 ribbon if you wanted. Now using either tape or glue, you're going to fold the pieces in half, either tape it closed or glue one side and hold them together to make a loop effect. Now you can repeat that with the other 14 pieces of paper or ribbon you have. Now you can push those to the side and grab one of your plates and flip it over. Now either using hot glue if you have a parent around to help or a stick glue, you're gonna glue each of the pieces using the taped or glued end onto the plate. You're gonna complete it all the way around in either an alternating pattern or normally. Now that you have all your ribbon and paper pieces attached, you can take a second colored ribbon or the same color as before, and you're gonna cut it into seven equal pieces. If you have a parent present and they know how to curl ribbon, they can do that, but if not, the plain ribbon will look fine. So now with either your plain pieces of ribbon or curled ribbon, you can take hot glue, if you have a parent around, or normal stick glue, and glue the end of the ribbon and attach it in between some of the paper or ribbon pieces. Complete that all the way around. Now take either glue or your hot glue, and if you want, you can add a popsicle stick to the bottom. If not, that's totally okay. Now take your other paper plate that doesn't have the ribbon along the outsides, and you're gonna take your rice, and you're gonna pour it full just until the rice covers the bottom completely. This will allow it to make sound when you shake it. Now take your ribbon plate and with either hot glue if you have a parent around or a stick glue, grab your other plate with rice in it and glue all the way around the outside. And then take the ribbon plate and glue it on top of the other plate to make sure no rice falls out. Now you have a Canada Day shaker.